Hey, welcome to autodraw.com. Today we're going to explore the uh, this free website. Uh, it is all about artificial intelligence. It's really neat. Uh, we're going to be using just the pencil app up here. And uh, just so that you can get your, your bearings here, the three lines up here at the top, you can start with any size piece of paper. You can download, share, uh, they've got how-to's and shortcuts, and they also list the artists that have contributed to the icons that you can use with the Magic Auto Draw Pencil. But we're going to do the regular drawing today. Up here at the top, uh, this shows you the line thicknesses that you can use. This blue dot, well this highlights all the different colors that you can use as well. So there's lots and lots of colors for you to use. So I'm going to start with bright red today. So I'm on my draw. Uh, I'm going to make my line a little bit thick. So we're trying to come up with a variety of lines. And don't think that your lines have to be perfect because, you know, mine are not. I'm drawing with a mouse. So let's see, there's a horizontal line. Uh, let's change colors. Let's do, I'm going to do something a little bit fatter. How about a vertical line? We need a different color. How about, ooh, how about green? How about diagonal? Let's make something a little bit thinner. Diagonal lines. Some artists call these hatch lines. Not hatch like in an egg. So we've got diagonal. When you have hatch lines, that means that the lines cross each other. And you'll see this in a lot of um, comic books, a lot of other drawings where they use their lines close together to make shading of an object. Let's try something really large. How about a dash line? Now, you know, I already used pink, so I'm going to, this is my favorite button, the undo button. So I can undo that, and let's pick a different color. How about a dark blue? How about some dashes? All right, how about, ooh, how about, let's see, how about a zigzag line? Zig, zag. Do they have to be exactly the same, or can I make big ones and little ones? I sure can. Because you know what? I'm the artist on this piece of paper, just like you're the artist on your piece of paper. All right, let's try something skinny. How about a loop-de-loop? Loop-de-loops. That's kind of cool. And I'm just drawing this with my mouse. Um, let's try ooh, purple. How about a wavy line? And let's try a different kind of line. How about ooh, hot pink? How about a bunny hop line? Well, those are just frowns, aren't they? Hmm, what's another kind of line? How about ooh, have you seen this kind of line before? That's kind of cool. We see this sometimes. You know, next month you might use it when you carve your pumpkin. We also see this on top of castles and the turrets. And those we also call dental work because it looks kind of like teeth when we go to the dentist. Okay, let's see. How about, ooh, what about a dotted line? Let's go over here to shape. And I'm going to pick out the circle. And I'm going to click and pull and I can make circles. Ooh, I can make, how about if I make it look like the circles? I'm going farther and farther away. Ooh, that's teeny tiny. Okay, you know it'd be cool if they had color inside them, which we can do. Let's go over here to the fill button and let's change our color. How, ooh, how about this electric blue here? Ooh. Looks like water bubbles, little air bubbles. Okay, now if I click out here, oh, the whole page goes that color, which is kind of cool. How might I change my 
my dots to, oops, I want to change my dots to white. Ooh. There we go. Teeny tiny. Okay, let's see. What's another kind of line that we can do? This grunt, not that green will show up very well. Oh, how about a dash line? Oh, uh, we already have a dash line. How about, hmm. Oh, what about a wandering line? Oh, I'm still on the fill button. Tell you what, let's do the undo. Undo. And go back to my pencil. And a wandering line. Oh, that's too thick. I'm going to undo that too. I'm going to change the thickness here. And a wandering line just kind of goes wherever it wants to go. Ooh. And off the page. Let's see, I could do another kind of wavy line. Have you ever seen one? It looks like the letter C. So let's try it down here. Letter C. Letter C. And then over. It looks kind of like a cursive C. So here's the C. Oh, I went over my dots. I want to go over my dots. C. C. It's like little waves, doesn't it? Okay. So here's a good start on a variety of uh, lines that you can use in your picture. You can always start a new one and maybe make patterns with your lines. So have fun exploring and using AutoDraw, uh, using the pencil today, and we can use the magic pencil another time, or you can experiment with it yourself. Okay, have fun with AutoDraw.com and your line designs.